Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Chapter Select member special here for Season 4, Fast and Furious. We watched the short film for Too Fast, Too Furious, Turbocharged, and now we're back to watch the only other short film in the Fast and Furious universe. I am one of your hosts, Max Roberts, and alongside me, as always, is Logan Moore. Hi, Logan. I'm excited to see Vin Diesel's directorial debut. I don't know if it's his directorial debut. Might not be his debut, but it's a thing he, he directed. He, uh, let's see. So Los Bendeleros is the short film, Spanish apparently for The Outlaws, is a 2009 American short film directed, co-written, and co-produced by Vin Diesel. Um, and it fills in kind of the gap that leads to the beginning of Fast and Furious. So we wanted to watch that and, you know, I, we both have never seen it just like Turbocharged. Now, granted, it's 20 minutes instead of six. It's way different. I wonder if there uh, will be dialogue in this one. I would hope so. A 20 minute short film <laughs> directed by Vin Diesel doesn't sound like a banger. So let's, uh, interesting. He, he had his directorial debut in 1995. All right, I'm ready. You ready? Yeah, let's Am do it. Sh- is it sharing? Yep. Can you see? All right. Mm-hmm. Don't sue us, Universal. You got to watch the Universal title card I, for this 20-minute short film. It's it, it was apparently worthy enough of the title card. Turbocharge was not. No, Turbocharge just launched right into it. This is on the this DVD so extras fast. or Blu-ray extras as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Same thing. So, Universal and sort of Universal again. They really went oh, all the out end for of the this world. movie. No, one race. Okay. I. Vin, what are you doing, man? I don't know what I'm watching so far. Other than a man in, clicking some bricks. We've got an acapella group in a prison. <laughs> oh, okay. Isn't that one of the guys in the movie? I forget his name. Yeah. Um, they're like barely in it, him and his buddy. Tree. What is it? They start with a... It's a T. So, all right, I'm going to just guess right now. Take that Vin Diesel just breaks these boys out of prison and then they become a ragtag group of thief car men. Vin's style here. He's very quick, shortcuts. He even zoomed in on a shot. <laughs> He's doing it again. We're talking about gas. Fighting for oil. So we're establishing why we're stealing gas. Yeah, because it's very important that we know why they're doing that at the start of the movie, I guess. Other than just gas is expensive and they can sell it and everybody needs it. Apparently, gas was expensive at the time they were making this movie. I saw that. It would have been two thousand what eight or nine, right? So that would have been the recession. Eight was when they were filming it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that would have been the last recession, the last big recession. We're in the Dominican Republic now, which is. I mean, the, we probably were always there. It just now we have a title. I and mean, that's card. where that's where Fast and Furious starts, right? Hmm. The people are struggling. There's no gas. I didn't know this would be in Spanish. I was going to say, so far, I don't know if I think this is vital lore to the Fast franchise. Vin Diesel has three children. He's 55. That seems young, actually. There was a triple X. Actually, no, that seems about right. 2017? Yeah, triple X, the return of Xander Cage. I didn't know 
there was another one of those things. There's three of them, I think. There's a second one, and it's got, I believe, Ice Cube in it, I think. Personal Life. I like that you're just reading his Wikipedia as we watch this. I'm trying so to far, figure out why he knows Spanish. Movie. Oh, here's Han. Han, very good. I just want to know where he's from. Wikipedia doesn't say. He's from L.A. It's where the Toretto family's always lived. Almeida County, California. So, so this is girl. literally just setting up the opening heist. Uh-huh. Which, I, again, I don't... I, I mean, that's why if, this isn't in the movie. Well, I, I don't know if we needed to know why they were doing that heist. I think one of the better aspects of that is the start of the movie is that it's just very quickly and apparently is just meant to be a call back to the first film like immediately mm-hmm. like oh semi driving down the street and here come some cars it's like this it's like the original movie i mean this is i guess it's kind of eventually we will see dom and letty right like i mean if Han's this in would it, at then, least then yeah said, this would at least said, help establish where they've been um because this is the fourth movie in the series. Now, you haven't seen Tokyo Drift recently. So, you know, this... And they weren't in Too Fast, Too Furious. Or Tokyo Drift, really. So, it helps us reestablish them. But again, no one was seeing this before the movie. I wonder why they did this. Like, the Too Fast, Too Furious short we talked about with that one like how it made sense why they wanted to do that because it's something they could promote on the dvd blu-ray or not even blu-ray at the time but just the dvd extras like and watch the extended paul walker short showing how he got to miami like that's something they would promote with the dvd release this i don't even know like i feel like we had moved past that early 2000s era of them doing lots of bonus extras on dvds maybe i'm wrong hmm I mean, 2009, I guess they were still doing it. Why are we hiding Vin's face here so much? We know it's him. Because it's a secret. That's not Chinese. It's rude. Is he Is he Japanese? In real life? I some, just meant in these movies. <laughs> uh... I mean, I, so. I mean, I th- feel like that's the implication since he's in Tokyo Drift, yes. but he is um, Korean. He's his Korean. Korean name, so I would assume, yeah, South Korean immigrant parents. But Han. Oh, we got, we got somebody's going to have to say some grace here. Who's going to go in for the food first? <laughs> Where's the Corona? Oh, that kid went in first. He's got to say grace. Don't you know Dom's rules? Oh, I was spot on, baby. I understand the rules of the family already. (laughs) He's a Korean American, so he's he's Korean in Fast and Furious as well. Okay. Because, yeah, he said uh, in Fast and Furious, like, oh, I hear things are popping off in Tokyo. Like, like the way he, like, mentioned it offhand made it sound like I'm not from there. Like, mm-hmm. I figured if he was actually from Japan, he would have been like, oh, I, I think I'm going to go home now. So they're breaking him out of jail. I mean, Letty will probably show up at the very end of this. It would be my guess. (laughs) Okay.
Apparently, breaking out of prison is is easy. Yeah, he just walked right out. They just cut off a couple chain links. He didn't have to get out of a cell. He didn't have to get out of a building. He just walked to the fence and walked out. Which makes that foreboding opening where they zoom in on the guard with the gun like 10 times a little bit more odd in retrospect. And apparently he's walking out of prison in a a white baggy t-shirt and baggy shorts. So he's not... He's comfortable. He's dressed like a prisoner, though, Max. I guess. That's what prisoners look like down in the Dominican Republic, I guess. Man, they dropped their one F-bomb in this 20 minutes. It's a short film. Is it even rated? It's probably not. Maybe there'll be a hot Dom and Letty sex scene at the end of this. <laughs> Whoa. They can get away with all kinds of things. Vin Diesel's like, I'm the director. I call the shots. Here's <laughs> what we're doing, Mr. Shell Rodriguez. Huh. So this is just a really slow assembling of the team. He went from saying, I don't want to look like a prisoner to just putting on a shirt and a hat. And that's it. That's all that changed about his appearance. And grabbing a beer. I don't think it was a Corona, though. Uh Uh-uh. Green bottle. Huh. Here's the lore we asked for. The Han lore. We didn't even have to look it up. I like that they do establish that he met him in Mexico because that's the post credit scene of Fast One. He's in Mexico for some reason. I now understand why these guys were not really in the main movie, his buddies, and it's because he's a horrible actor. <laughs> he's like <laughs> his deliver of these li- of these lines is not good. You're telling me that uh Tego and uh Don Omar plays Rico Santos. Don Omar the musician. Can't say I'm really thrilled but with this them. is uh this is Tego Cal Caldron playing Tego Leo. <laughs> Is he a musician too? He's a Puerto Rican rapper, singer, and actor. How much longer do we have with this? Eight minutes. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was closer to being over. The Wikipedia description. Kind of. Is it? Yeah, this is just like... A cut. Yeah, this just doesn't need to exist, even as a short additional film, because I can't imagine how many. I mean, this probably didn't take too many days to shoot. Probably took like a week or two. I don't know. It could have been also a part of you know Da or uh, Vin Diesel's the kind of approach to come back and make this movie, and he was the producer on the film. He had his company, that Shift One or or whatever. One race. They all could, Is that his one company? race. Yeah, so like that could have all been a part of the deal was being able to do this type of thing, giving him more control over the franchise. It is interesting, though, that Han's in this because he would have been in Tokyo Drift by this point. So this would have really been his central role association with this movie. Like he's been in this more than he has been in the movie proper, Fast and Furious, which is kind of funny. Mm. There's our homie. odor of skanks i smell skank good old callback right there (laughs) 
Letty may get more screen time in this than she does in the movie. Well, she's she's pretty in heavily involved in the opening. Yeah, in the opening, yeah. more so than Han That's, for sure. She may have more lines in this than in the movie. Look at that. Their romance rekindled. He's just gone at the end of the first movie. Leaves her in the dust. I mean, I feel like there's an implication that they've seen each other. A little bit. For possibly. like on and off over the years. Look, there's a horse. The rap. They dropped another F-bomb. They did drop another rap F-bomb. Song. I heard that. There's more F-bombs in this than there is the movie proper. I wonder how fast they're going here. I, uh, the truck, some of the truck scenes in the beginning of the movie, they were going 40 miles an hour. Like with Michelle Rodriguez hanging off the back of the truck at 40. So here, probably not fast at all. I mean, Tom Cruise flew up in a jet. So oh, she can stand on the back of a 40 mile an hour truck, I guess. Tom Cruise did hang off a jet. That was not ins- Oh my gosh, that well, guy's nuts. This is now going to become Mission Impossible chapter select. I would love to do that with you someday. I considering you also have not seen those. I watched movies. the first one the other night. Did you really on Netflix? And by the other night, I mean like 2 or 3 months ago. I randomly watched oh. it. Oh, we're making out and driving. This is more aggressive than Paul Walker's play, which is to just stare at you as he drives down the street. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I told you there was going to be a Dom and Letty sex scene in this. <laughs> what, what Vin tra- Diesel said he's the director. He calls the shots. <laughs> this seems highly dangerous. <laughs> yeah, he wrecks. She's dead. But don't worry. It's Dom Toretto. He's a perfect driver. Well, we got a helicopter shot. (laughs) This is so random. Oh, yeah. (laughs) I think the other short film was better. (laughs) Because it was more respectful of my time. This just feels... This feels like they're all mailing it in for this too. Like they shot most of these scenes probably like once or twice, and then it was just about it. They just put it in the can. I'm so, I'm. This is a really interesting piece of fast history. They just go on a walk. They're gonna go get it on in the ocean. Told you it ends with a Dom and Letty sex scene. <laughs> And then they'll wake up the next morning and then he'll say, we got to go rob a truck now. And then it'll end. <laughs> We're in a tiny coat. He, he carried her on his back for like four steps. I told you it's going to end shit. this way. I predicted this 10 minutes ago. There's three minutes. <laughs> oh, zoom out from the sun. They did not have a Corona sponsorship for this movie, apparently. It must not get Corona delivered down to the Dominican Republic. (laughs) This is so strange. What is going on? Imagine directing this. Just m- make out with me some more, Michelle. <laughs> why Why do we make out on a kayak for so long? It's romantic. That's the way we wrote it. Yeah. Written, Written and directed, directed by, by Vin Diesel. Diesel. <laughs> Producer Jesse Dara. It really did in that way. There was nothing else to it. Wow. So strange. Co-writer. Editors. Weird. Well. Well then. Woman in Tia Rubia's kitchen. It's like a that's a whole line. 
Wow. Sexy girl. <laughs> Just the one. <laughs> Chefs. Uh, yeah, I got nothing really to say about this. That was pretty awful. It seemed totally That's... unneeded. I don't understand why they did it. I don't understand why all these people in mention here uh, decided to be involved, but hey. I would love to know just how that came to be, but that's about it because it's so pointless. And I guess that's why no one knows it exists or remembers it. Very weird. I, I don't... We apologize that you had to watch that with us, members, if you watched all of this. I well, they can't see it because we will get copyright. Flagged, That's true. So, <laughs> but I would rather watch Turbocharged three times, which is about eighteen minutes. That's got Minka Kelly in it, and no talking. <laughs> <laughs> Two things that are both better than this, and more cars in it, and more cars. Well, what a weird, strange piece. All right, well, I really think that does it. Uh, thank you so much for. <laughs> watching us uh, re- react to this short film for the very first time you can check out our episode on the f- uh, on fast and furious and the other fast and furious movies definitely more going on in those certainly more than this just a bit uh, but thank you for being a member and subscribing and supporting the show we really appreciate it um you can follow logan on twitter at mormon 12 myself at max roberts 143 and the show over at chapter select um Thank you so much, and until next time, adios.